In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, the Word of God welcomes us this morning. And as we begin this day with the Lord, we ask Him to help us in all our endures. As we begin this day in His presence, we ask Him to bless us so that every step, every activity may radiate His presence, His joy and His love to the world. And therefore we see that sometimes in life we do not acknowledge or we do not thank the Lord sufficiently for all the graces that we have received. If you take a look at our lives, we see that we may have received plenty of graces, but we very rarely thank the Lord for them. And therefore it would be adequate for us to begin today's day by thanking the Lord, thanking Him for all the little things, for all the graces that He has given in our lives. These things which may seem little go a long way in His plan for us. Everything that happens, happens because He wills it and because He has it planned in our lives. And therefore we begin by thanking the Lord for the gift of life. Lord, we thank you for the various talents, abilities that you have given us. We thank you for making us different, unique. Lord, we also thank you for the gift of this day, a day that will help us to make a difference not only in our lives but also in the lives of others, a day which may help us to complete something that was left incomplete or to do something in a different manner. Lord, we also want to thank you for the gift of our family members, friends, relatives, near and dear ones and all those who play a very important role in our lives. All these individuals have indeed helped us in various ways. They have molded us and made us who we are. And therefore, Lord, we ask you that you shower your abundant blessings on them and help them in all their endeavors. Lord, we also thank you for all the opportunities that you have given us opportunities to make a difference in the lives of others or opportunities in order to showcase your gifts and thus help for the common good. Lord, we also thank you for the experiences that you have given us. There may be many experiences which are very happy, joyful experiences which we always want to treasure. But there also may be those experiences which may have been tough, difficult. Nonetheless, these have been learning experiences because these experiences have helped us learn a lot in life. And therefore, Lord, we thank you for giving us these experiences, for helping us become stronger individuals. And Lord, as we offer you this day, we ask you that you may give us all the graces that are necessary so that we may understand your plan in our lives and that we may be able to put into practice all the teachings, all the values that you have taught us. And now, my dear friends, let us reflect and meditate on Psalm 56. Now, as usual, we shall take a look at an overview of the psalm and then we shall go into the details of the psalm. Now we see that Psalm 56 generally is a psalm of lament that is attributed to David and it is believed to have been written during a time when David was in distress and he was facing opposition from his enemies. Now the psalm can be divided into three main sections. The first basically includes a plea for God's mercy and protection. And this is something, a theme that we will find in verses 1 to 4. Then as we move to verses 5 to 7, we see that there is a kind of a description 
of the actions and the intentions of David's enemies. And finally, in verses 8 to 13, we see a declaration of trust and praise in God. And therefore, in a way, we can see that this psalm also would help us, especially in times of our difficulties, when we face a lot of challenges in life. Now, overall, we see that Psalm 56 will showcase David's plea for God's mercy and protection in the face of opposition. This psalm also highlights the trust that David had in God's faithfulness and power despite the actions of his enemies. Now, the psalm also encourages us to trust in God's deliverance and also it emphasizes the importance of praising and honoring God. This psalm in a very particular manner serves as a reminder that even in difficult moments, even in times of distress, God is a reliable source of refuge and strength. And having seen the overview of the psalm, let us go into the first section, that is verses 1 to 4. And here we see that in this first section of the psalm, David pleads for God's mercy and protection. We see that David acknowledges his vulnerability and he expresses his trust in God to deliver him. Now in verses 1 to 2, David asks God, to be merciful to him and to take note of his distress. And therefore, when we are also faced with problems in life, we can always turn to the Lord who is ever willing to help us. In verses 3 to 4, we see that David describes his enemies and their actions. And here we see that he acknowledges that they are constantly opposing him and causing him a lot of trouble. However, we see that David also affirms his trust in God and declares that he will not be afraid. Now, when we move to the second section of the psalm, we see that this section will plainly focus on the actions and the intentions of David's enemies. Now, David describes their malicious intentions and their attempts to harm him. And therefore, in verses 5 to 6, we see that he highlights their twisted words and schemes. He portrays their schemes and actions as an attempt to trap him and to bring him down. But despite the enemy's schemes, despite the efforts of the enemies, we see that David remains resolute and expresses confidence that God will ultimately hold them accountable. And therefore, in our lives too, we may find ourselves in situations where we feel that nothing is happening. And it is in these moments where we actually need to place our faith and trust in the Lord. And therefore, David in this psalm gives us a perfect example of that. Now, the third section of this psalm shifts to a declaration of trust and praise in God. Now, here we see that David will express his faith in God's promises and he declares his unwavering trust in him. Now in verses 8 to 9, we see that David affirms his belief that God is aware of his suffering and that he collects his tears. David also asserts his confidence that God is on his side and ultimately God will deliver him from his enemies. And therefore, as we read verses 10 to 11 of the psalm, we see that David declares his trust in God's word and his power. And therefore, stating that he will not fear what mere mortals may do to him. He recognizes that his deliverance is ultimately in the hands of God. And therefore, we see that the psalm will conclude in verses 12 to 13, where David expresses his gratitude and he vows to fulfill uh, to God what he has promised and therefore he acknowledges that God has rescued him from death and therefore God has preserved his life and he commits to praising God and walking in his presence. My dear friends, as we have reflected on the psalm, 
Let us now close our eyes at this morning hour and let us thank the Lord. Let us praise the Lord. Let us glorify the Lord. Loving Father, you have given us this time in the morning. You have been gracious to us. You have given us your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who has cleansed us from our sins. He has taken away all our sins and he has given us new life. Lord, as you have given us the Holy Spirit, we ask you, Lord, to bless us and to protect us. And therefore, Lord, for all the blessings that you have given us, all the graces that you have bestowed on us, we thank you, we praise you and we glorify you. You have protected us all through the night and you have given us the gift of this day. You have given us good health of mind and body. And therefore, Lord, at this morning hour, we thank you and we praise you. For your great love and mercy, O Lord, we praise you, we thank you, we glorify you. You are a merciful God. You are always there to watch over us at every step of the way. And therefore, Lord, we ask you that whatever actions we may do today, whatever steps we may take, be with us, guide us all along the way, so that whatever we may do, it may be according to your will, according to your plan, and ultimately that you may lead us to fulfill your mission. And therefore, as we reflect and meditate on the psalm, let us now spend a few moments in silence. And let us take a look at what touched us as we read the psalm. There may be a sentence or there may be a phrase. Let us remain with it, asking the Lord to give us the grace so that we too may be able to become like him, to become a light to the world and therefore spread his message of love and peace. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys and sufferings on this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins for the intentions of all my relatives and friends and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. Let us pray for the intentions of the Holy Father for the month of August. For political leaders, we pray that political leaders be at the service of their own people, working for integral human development and for the common good, especially caring for the poor and those who have lost their jobs. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Act of Contrition O my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended Thee, and I detest all my sins because of Thy just punishments, but most of all because they offend Thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of thy grace, to sin no more, and to avoid the near occasion of sin. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you will renew the face of the earth. Lord, by the light of the Holy Spirit, you have taught the hearts of your faithful. In the same Spirit, help us to relish what is right and always rejoice in your consolation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for Priests Gracious and loving God, we thank you for the gift of our priests. Through them, we experience your presence in the sacraments. Help our priests to be strong in their vocation. Set their souls on fire with love for your people. Grant them the wisdom, understanding and strength they need to follow in the footsteps of Jesus. Inspire them with the vision of your kingdom. Give them the words they need to spread the gospel. Allow them to experience joy in their ministry. Help them to become instruments of your divine grace. We ask this through Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns as our eternal priest. Amen. The Breastplate of Saint Patrick I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through a belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the Creator of creation. Christ with me Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left, Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit down, Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me. Christ in the mouth of every man who speaks of me. Christ in the eye that sees me. Christ in the ear that hears me. Amen. The Angelus The angel of the Lord declared to Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary! full of grace, 
the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, Thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for St. Joseph's Protection O Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so prompt, so strong, before the throne of God, I place in you all my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine Son, all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that, having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me and ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, Patron of departing souls, pray for me. Amen. Prayer of Thanksgiving God of all blessings, source of all life, giver of all grace, we thank you for the gift of life, for the breath that sustains life, for the food of this earth that nurtures life, for the love of family and friends without which there would be no life. We thank you for the mystery of creation, for the beauty that the eye can see, for the joy that the ear may hear for the unknown that we cannot behold, filling the universe with wonder, for the expanse of space that draws us beyond the definitions of ourselves. We thank you for setting us in communities, for families who nurture our becoming, for friends who love us by choice, 
for companions at work who share our burdens and daily tasks for strangers who welcome us into their midst for people from other lands who call us to grow in understanding for children who lighten our moments with delight for the unborn who offer us hope for the future we thank you for this day for life and one more day to love for opportunity and one more day to work for justice and peace for neighbors and one more person to love and by whom be loved for your grace and one more experience of your presence for your promise to be with us to be our god and to give salvation for these and all blessings we give you thanks eternal loving god through jesus christ we pray amen prayer to the garden angel angel of god my guardian dear to whom god's love commits me here ever this day be at my side to light and guard rule and guide amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen litany to mary the loreto litany lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy on us Lord have mercy on us Christ hear us Christ graciously hear us God the Father of heaven have mercy on us God the Son redeemer of the world have mercy on us God the Holy Spirit have mercy on us holy trinity one god have mercy on us holy mary pray for us holy mother of god pray for us holy virgin of virgins pray for us mother of christ pray for us mother of the church pray for us 
Mother of mercy, pray for us. Mother of divine grace, pray for us. Mother of hope, pray for us. Mother most pure, pray for us. Mother most chaste, pray for us. Mother inviolate, pray for us. Mother undefiled, pray for us. Mother most amiable, pray for us. Mother admirable, pray for us. Mother of good counsel, pray for us. Mother of our Creator, pray for us. Mother of our Saviour, pray for us. Virgin most prudent, pray for us. Virgin most venerable, pray for us. Virgin most renowned, pray for us. Virgin most powerful, pray for us. Virgin most merciful, pray for us. Virgin most faithful, pray for us. Mirror of justice, pray for us. Seat of wisdom, pray for us. Cause of our joy, pray for us. Spiritual vessel, pray for us. Vessel of honor, pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion, pray for us. Mystical rose, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of ivory, pray for us. House of gold, pray for us. Ark of the covenant, pray for us. Gate of heaven, pray for us. Morning star, pray for us. Health of the sick, pray for us. Refuge of sinners, pray for us. Solace of migrants, pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted, pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. Queen of angels, pray for us. Queen of patriarchs, pray for us. Queen of prophets, pray for us. Queen of apostles, pray for us. Queen of martyrs, pray for us. Queen of confessors, pray for us. Queen of virgins, pray for us. Queen of all saints, pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin, pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven, pray for us. Queen of the most holy rosary, pray for us. Queen of families, pray for us. Queen of peace, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech Thee, O Lord God, that we, Your servants, may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, may be delivered from present sorrow and obtain eternal joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
pray to Saint Michael the Archangel for protection. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Act of Adoration O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment Thine. Saint Gertrude Prayer for Souls in Purgatory Eternal Father, I offer Thee the most precious blood of Thy Divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the Universal Church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. May the Divine Assistance remain always with us, and may the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.